in 2022. There was a court ruling where the court ruled that in security guards were not independent contractors but employees and of course there are some serious implications for that now i've seen a notice put out by hawkeye security limited i'll soon take a look at it but it will it um, notifies us that there will be a drastic increase in security cost, the cost for private um, security services. But let's look at a part of the court ruling that was made here. This is a claim between National Hoarding Trust, the claimant, and Marksman Limited as the first defendant and Robert Epstein as the second defendant. No. We want to see what National Housing Trust was asking for in this claim. The NHT seeks the following declarations, reliefs, and remedies. A, that a declaration that the first defendant, that's, the, that's Maxman Limited, is an employer and contributor within the definition, meaning, and designation of the provisions of the National Housing Trust Act. B, a declaration that the first defendant is liable, that the NHT is liable to, um, that smart man, is liable to pay employees contribution pursuant to the provisions of the National Housing Trust Act. C, an order that the defendant do forthwith pay the sum of more than $470 million dollars as you see there for employees contributions for the financial year 2020 to 2016 d alternatively damages in the sum of and you see the same figure there more on more than 477 million dollars interests on such employees contributions and the damages at the rate of 40 percent or annum from the collection dates, F penalties and surcharges and such employees' contribution are damages along with said statutory, statutory interests occurred thereon at 10% of the sums due and payable pursuant to the National Housing Trust Act. G cost and attorney cost and H such further and other relief as this honorable court deems fit. So the NHT wants Marksman Limited to pay over money that they should have been paying over if the security guards were employees rather than independent contractors because as employees they're supposed to get to the employers um, are supposed to pay over NHT contributions now let's look at the decision by the judge then we're going to look at the other document decision therefore the claimant succeeds that NHT succeeds in its claim for a declaration that the security guards are employees and not independent contractors. However, the claim for the sum of that 477 million, more than that, almost 488, almost 478 million. The figure is 477 million, dollars 77 for employees' contributions for financial year 2020 to 2016 plus interest penalties and surcharges is refused. Okay. The claim fails because the NHT sat on its rights for so far too long and received without demur payments on the basis of the guards that the guards were not employees. This leads Maxman reasonably 
to believe that the NHT, like the tax authorities, were satisfied to act accordingly. If the NHT is allowed to recover the employee's contribution, interest and surcharges, the penalty for the period claimed or part thereof, it would be unfair to the defendants. Of course, Marksman was encouraged by the claim and its conduct to arrange an affairs on the basis that the claimant was not was satisfied to accept three percent contribu contractor's contribution. So here they haven't been collecting it. They weren't asking for it. So that money was refused. The parties will pardon me if I use this medium to express gratitude to Mrs. Jamie Brown Bailey as judicial clerk. Whilst I will I take full responsibility for the contents of this judgment, it would not have been able I would not have been able to complete it in time for the delivery without her in the in the fatigue assistance, my gosh. My orders and declarations are therefore as follows. One, it is hereby declared with prospect prospective effect that the security guards engaged by the first defendant to provide third parties with security services are employees. Two, it is further declared that the first defendant is liable under the National Housing Trust Act to pay employees' contributions to the National Housing Trust in respect of the said security guards from the date of this judgment and continuing Three, the claim against the defendants for an order to pay that money, interest, surcharges and penalties and for damages is dismissed. Four, three-fourths of the cost of this claim will go to the claimant to be taxed if not agreed. Costs are apportioned in this manner because although the defendants at, at um, Maxpan have been relieved from the claimants some interest penalties and surcharges most of the time was spent on the primary issue on which the claimant has succeeded all right that's judge david brax puny judge so, here, security guards are employees, not independent contractors. And therefore, their employers must pay over NHT contributions. Let's look at the notice that I saw being circulated in social media. Reportedly by Archive Security Company Limited. February 1, 2023. Ochirios. Re increase in rates due to recent court ruling. Um, says Ochirios. This is the recent the uh, recipients um, information were erased from the document. Well, let's see what it says. Let me begin by wishing you, your family and staff, a safe and peaceful 2023. As you might be aware, on Friday, September 23, 2022, puny judge David Bratt, in a case between NHT versus Marksman Limited, ruled that all security guards are to be considered employees as at the date, and therefore can no longer be treated as, in, in, as independent contractors. This case has set a precedent for all security companies, and we have no option but to adjust our engagement agreements with our security officers. This ruling has a tremendous impact on costs, as it now means that all security guards will now receive benefits, such as Paid sick leave, vacation leave, 
maternity leave and overtime and we will now be responsible for paying additional company statutory taxes we along with other independent uh, uh, along with other industry players to the Jamaica Society for Industrial Security have been engaging the government to minimize the impact of this on security companies as well as clients and use security that use security services. Based on the outcomes of these discussions, the industry will be implementing these changes as of April 1, 2023. Here we have in bold. As a result, effective April 1, 2023, your current security guard rates will increase by 42%. We know, we know that this increase will come as a major shock to you. However, we have no choice at this time and anticipate your understanding. Our operations team will be in touch with you to discuss any changes you may wish to make to your current deployment as well as to look at opportunities to reduce your costs by deploying technological solutions we can offer. Thank you again for choosing Archive Security slash Ranger Protection and Security. And should you have any questions, please feel free to contact those persons named there at the number you see. So there you have it your security services as of april 1 will increase provided by hawkeye will increase by 42 percent that is the one of the major implications of the 2022 ruling by the supreme court that security guards are no longer independent contractors but are employees. <laughs>